Hello, okay, um, if I can just get focus on this. It's made by Tradelocks. Okay, Tradelocks is a, um, a name brand of UAP, another lock company. And <clears throat> uh, it's recommended by um, locksmiths and they sell lo locksmith tools and things and locks and all kinds of stuff. So, and it's supposed to be like a budget uh, purchase uh, by for, for locksmiths. Um, you can register with them and buy the products. Some of the products you have to register. So what I've done is, um, anyway, I've taken off the C-clip in anticipation of picking this Euro cylinder. And it is, I think, it's 35 by 35. Um, so anyway, I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to stick him in the vise. <clears throat> so, show you the keyway. Does the keyway? It's a little bit. It is actually paracentric. You can't pick from the bottom. So there you go. Carefully take the key out. I'm going to show you the bitting now before I. Um, Go any further? Okay, so there we go. Here's the bittings. Got good bitting actually. I've got a high, lowish, couple of eyes, and some really low one at the end here. Six pin. <clears throat> so let's give it a go. Here's the uh, the name brand on the key. Trade lock. So maybe uh, I'll put a description into the link to the website. Maybe here somewhere. Um, so I'm going to pick this using uh, this standard tension wrench with a twist in it. And it is actually slightly tapered here. And I'm going to use my Peterson pick kindly given to me by um, Pompey Picker. I, I say that because I need to put a bit of pressure on this. I don't know what's inside it. So I'm going to investigate that together six pins so I'm going to go into the back there's a little technique that worked out with this I'll just show you so we quite a bit of pressure and we first I'm going to come up with the pins I'm just touching the pins seeing which one is binding which one wants to give I'm going to click there that was, little, that was three so a little technique here um, that I found actually works quite well uh, so I've got to pick off the ledge and that is this as I you can ease the lock onto the shear line so use the pin by giving it a bit of a, a little bit of a wiggle as you um, lift the, each pin a bit of movement there and it, sometimes it does kind of help to get it on to the shear line you feel it click oh a bit more movement no a bit more of a fault set there going down going down back in again and again we just go in as far as we can try not to overset anything so uh, six and five are set so I'm trying to see if I can get a little bit more movement on the uh, on the core. Okay, so now I'm going to change the technique. So I'm not going to use the warding. I'm going to lift the pin as I wiggle. So I wiggle the pick in the hole to help to try to set those pins sometimes I've picked this several times um, and I found the best uh, way is with a, quite a bit of tension well, sometimes it, it, it kind of goes fairly quickly sometimes like now it chooses when the camera's on to just and I'm just going from the back, working my way to the front. Just 
just drop the pins. Now I'm going to go from the front to the back. I'm trying to get a deeper fault set. If I don't get any joy, a bit of movement there again. If I don't get any joy, I'm going to reset and oh, a bit of counter rotation there. Lost the fault set. Just felt the fault set come back a little bit. more. It's like you're just playing with the pins a little bit trying to uh... so let me just go to the back and I want to be a bit more gentle now. And I'm feeling what's set, what isn't set. And again. So I'm going to go back in again Try again. You can hear the pins clicking sometimes, it's the pick slipping off the, the pins. Okay, I'm going around in circles here, so I'm just going to reset. Probably with the pins, I'm going to put the tension on, quite a bit of tension back in. And try. actually not bad locks. Back in again. Oh, move bit of movement, bit more movement, bit more movement, we're on the right path. What's that fault set? Back in again. See if we can get it back. Bit of a battle going on here now. I sometimes I pick this and I, I've picked it in thirty seconds. Just bit it and miss. Just drop the pins. Go back in again. Oh, wait a bit of movement there. There we go. Oh, got it. Zoom out. I hope that was in focus. So, um, I'm going to turn it around. Turn it this way, and I am going to. Oh, I didn't get all my tools ready. Bear with me a second. Say me. Just dropped. Just talk amongst yourselves. Everyone needed picking. Okay, 
here we have a show you again trade locks and this was only uh, this is quite a cheap lock actually um, nothing unusual about the core except the fact that if you look at the edge of the core it has got a rim a little edge all the, on every single one of them that's about it Look at these pins. Take a look at those pins. So all standard key pins. Um, they've got a very slight taper on the edge. Maybe I can show you this one. And, and just take a little look at these. It's very nice driver pins there you go look at that it's like a it's like a it's like a what do you call it, barrel pins rated um, very sharp edges either end on number one then a standard then a standard and then two more of these very nice I'm just going to try to get a close up of that for you with anti-bump springs, let me pull that in there and see if we can get a close-up. There you go. Look at that. What a nice pin. So there you go, that's not bad. That was really, really, I can't remember what I paid for it. If you're on the website, you can get some of these locks for about five pounds, some or more. I think I paid about uh, 6 99 maybe, in British pounds for this, can't quite remember. Three security pins, um, not bad. You could, these are make great tra challenge locks. So, very good bargain. So, thank you for watching. Take care. And that's trade locks. And I'll put a description, I'll put a link here. Um, thanks for watching. Take care. You have a nice day. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.